All right, we're entering beyond the gate because they invaded us first. And what happens when they invade us? We're going in there to peacekeep, to give them some democracy, liberty, freedom, guns. We're going to take their oil. That's what we're going to do. America is also getting involved. Now, I think the world building in the Isekai world is fantastic. The empire, the Teikoku, right? It seems like the like, kind of like a Roman empire, right? You got like the like you got like the pompous leader, but the king, the empire, the emperor, sorry, is not an idiot. I thought that he was, but he wasn't cuz he intentionally let all his quote unquote allies go in, get called so no one could revolt. Because if he re if the people around him realizes that we're losing power, then they're gonna come for the empire, right? So it's like holy shit. When he said like poison the well, you know, just like take all their foods. This emperor is fucking savage. Now he does have like a red-haired daughter who seems very righteous and noble, and surely, surely Itami will include her in the harem, right? Let's begin today's reaction. It's the blue hair girl, right? It's gotta be, right? I could totally see the blue hair soft sorceress girl having this voice. Okay. Erif. Erif. Fuck! Nice. Fire dragon, the one that destroyed her village? Oh, don't be sorry. Cut it all off. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that transition scene? So like, okay, we got to cut our clothes off to help her, right? What happens to transition, right? So like, we're about to cut her clothes off, implying that, hey, maybe some fan service is coming. And look what happens right after. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! How you just gotta show fucking water coming out of a you know? <laughs> Come being the fucking keyword here. Okay, Blondel. <laughs> this girl's real nice. I, I like this girl. Riz her up. I don't know. <laughs> She's being sus of Itami. Does Itami like elves? Like, no, he likes magical girls, though. It's the other guy that likes the elves. I mean, the episode title is called The Fire Dragon, so surely we're not gonna meet a fire dragon, right? Don't jinx it, bro. You already jinxed it. The episode title jinxed it. What? 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 Because, <laughs> like, you know, in Isekai, you gotta speak their language, but everything is still spoken in Japanese, but, like, it's he's, like, speaking slow Japanese because we're trying to talk to them in their language, but their language is fucking Japanese! No, she must come with us for some reason. Why, racist? Oh, it's gonna attack the other villages too. So what, we kill the fire dragon and become the heroes around these villages? This is definitely not a magical girl. <laughs> Maybe the blue hair girl is like an apprentice though, like somewhere around. That's her right, that's her clothes, that's her clothes, right? That's her clothes, right? That's her clothes, right? That sounds like the narrating voice in the intro, right? Lele. Yo, this grandpa wizard acts like a fucking kid. Kudere sorcerer. House of Wizard Kato on the outskirts of the Kota Village. Showing up 50 years earlier. The fuck? You can see to the future? You, you understand like what's supposed to happen? The timeline stuff? He said it showed up 50 years early. The fire dragon showed up 50 years early. You know what? You know what? Giga Chad, at least he's not a lollicon. They could he could have been a perverted lollicon, right? But he's like, fuck little girls like you. That sounds weird. Okay, okay. Who's the sister though? So he's into the mills. Okay, good, good, good. But who's the sister? <laughs> 
What is this, like ice magic? Okay, Lele has a sister though. Very, very curvy. Is that a donkey? Not even a horse? <laughs> Slap it harder. Yeah, can't you use magic to make the shit lighter or something? Rules for thee, not for me. There you go. We just fucking float this carries. Do we even need a donkey? So everyone's stuck because someone was too greedy? Oh no, we got the military helping out though. <laughs> You're speaking the same language. I know that like they're not supposed to be, right? They can only speak Japanese. You're speaking Japanese right now, the same fucking language that you're speaking, and then you're like, whoa, I've never heard that language. That's one of the funniest things in Isekai animes where it's like, first of all, it's like, okay, how are we gonna, you know, handle the language barrier? I think Mushoku Tensei does a really good job at it, but some some shows it's like fuck. They, they, they're like fuck it. We don't even care. We're just gonna get a language translation skill, and everything's just gonna be Japanese. <laughs> Curvy woman, maybe. <laughs> so we already meet uh, two out of the three girls already, huh? Because like the harm is like what? Sorry, three out of four actually. But where's the goth lolly? Goth lolly will probably show up way later, huh? Ita no, it's the human girl. I like her. <laughs> What kind of fucking fall was that? She got a fucking concussion? Itami! Itami! Oh my god! You shot out a whore! That whole scene was so fucking... Epic kind of, but also ridiculous! I've never heard such an epic soundtrack for a fucking random horse. Like, this is some disaster happening. Like, a dragon's attacking. It's so dramatic, dude. Oh my god. I know I like, I like know that the horse, like, we were in danger there. But it's, it's just like, you know, I, I feel like they played a way more epic soundtrack. And it had a way more dramatic tension compared to, like, moments when we're, like, you know, fighting the fucking dragon or something a couple episodes ago. Army propaganda. There are the Empire. Fight at Arnis Hill. Arnis Hill was the fight last episode. So the Empire brought in like um these village people too to be part of that war, right? Is that what's going on? We killed them all, technically. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, that guy got fucking... Didn't even show that. He blurred that. Oh, and he's already dead. Who was it? Bandit killer. Bandit hunter. Goth lolly. Gotta be the goth lolly. It's gotta be the goth. She's got that kind of like Kurumi kind of laugh, huh? Oh! The first scenes of the goth lolly that you see in the anime is the absolute territory. The fucking right by the, the thighs, you know, where the thigh highs end and where the skirt starts, you know, the, the absolute territory. <laughs> Big ass sight. <laughs> Is she in like a cult? All father? Rory Mercury. Apostle to the dark god Emroy. So gods kind of exist in this isekai world. Damn! One of the twelve, there's eleven more? She's wearing the Emroy Shrine Oracle uniform. You mean goth lolly uniform? This is goth lolly cosplay with fucking... Cat ears. You're telling me that this fucking fan service outfit is the the shrine oracle uniform of the Emroy. <laughs> I love I love their group. Thank God. Who whoever designed this from there on based. Yo, compared to the other girls, she's getting like a insane intro, man. Oh my god, what the rocks? Okay, she's next level. I can see why everyone is like hyped about this one specific girl. That's not fair. 
How the fuck is Rene, the, the, the blue hair girl, and the elf supposed to compete with this? Like, the, the elf got found in a fucking, like, bottom of the well, and she's still unconscious. We don't even know her name. Lele just, like, I don't know. She had, like, a cool horse scene, I guess. But, like, holy shit. Like, Rory Mercury just got, like, an entire fucking scene dedicated towards her. This shit was fucking epic. <laughs> Whose voice actor is this? The Dark Apostle is Elroy. And this is the Elroy Shrine Yorkle uniform, sure. I think the show is pretty much like making a point that like, this is the main girl, guys. The human army girl, not that important, you know? <laughs> Compared to Rory, I mean. Would you let her cut your head off, guys? All right, back to CGI carts and horses. Now, one critique is that I just wish that the goth lolly was a goth milf instead, right? I, I, I do enjoy her design, but it's just like, you know, she's a little too petite for me. And I don't know how old she is. And you can't tell me that she's a 9,000-year-old fucking lolly because, you know, at the end of the day, the body it does look like a fucking prepubescent girl. Still, she is sick, though. <laughs> lolly Mercury. It's Rory, Lolly, they gotta be intensely doing that, huh? <laughs> Fucking use your magic and make some water, bro. Wow, even she's getting involved. The fucking mud making a, a hard to push. Just kill the fire dragon. It's easy then. Where's the fire dragon? GG. All their livelihood is in the cart, though. <laughs> it's alright, pal. <laughs> Do they have to burn it? I guess it would be like proof or like traces. I I, I don't know. What's the logic behind burning? Yeah, yeah. Why'd you burn it? Okay, so. Couldn't you have just like not burned it and just left? Okay. That's a... My man is thinking 10 moves ahead. The girl's kind of impressed. Is that girl falling for Itami or nah? Who is the sight? The sight! The sight! Lolly Mercury! But... What, 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 what if she says like... You know, the... The dark god demands your blood too and starts killing us. Yeah, that's the goth dolly. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. Ghost dolly. <laughs> Who designed? Are you, are you sure that this is a shrine maiden outfit? The 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 fucking what what whatever you know cult they're from. Like, don't you think this is like way too designed to be just ultimate fan service? Like, who designed this? Is there another Isekai character here who designed this? Is there a fucking degenerate on the cult that, you know, designed these, you know, uniforms? It's like, great. It's just the attention to detail is kind of insane. <laughs> Don't vultures like, uh, dude, is it crows or is it vultures that follow around like death? Isn't it, isn't it vultures? Or was it, was it crows too? Are, are, are these birds basically just following Rory around because wherever she goes, it's just like a... It's like a trail of corpses, you know? And then they know that, you know, lo 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 it might as well be food, right? So they're like, oh shit, this goth lolly just, you know, going on a fucking rampage, just follow her. She is a child! <laughs> they, they did say Oracle uniform. She's like a... People worship her! The weird outfit. It's a cult uniform. <laughs> She's probably super interested in all this technology. I don't know, you pressed the gas pedal. Yeah, you wanna ride it? Oh, that tongue movement though, she keeps doing it. Oh my god. You're like, come on, like, she's not even trying to fucking hide it, dude. I'd like to see what it feels to ride it. And the tongue movement too. Oh, we're speaking their language finally, even though she was speaking Japanese perfectly. <laughs> she, she, 
she on e Tommy's lap? Oh. She's making moves real quick. She, she making moves real quick. And then... <laughs> Why is the fucking scythe weapon on top of the fucking L? <laughs> it is a tight fit, huh? <laughs> She's riding you and it's a very tight fit. Wonder what this is alluding to. <laughs> touch what? Don't touch what? Don't touch what? Okay. The elf still hasn't woken up, man. The pistol? That's the key word for his dick. Itami's dick is the pistol. Where are we gonna put these people, though? We should just fucking locate the fire dragon and kill it. Oh, fire dragon, fire dragon. I think. Never mind, that's the fire dragon. That's the fire dragon. Jesus, oh, you fucking baited me. Sometimes they do that shit. That's a cliche. Yeah, the, there's always a bigger fish like trope, right? So sometimes they'll show like a big monster and it's like, whoa. And then that monster will get eaten by a different monster. You go like, whoa. And then that monster gets eaten by a bigger monster. You're like, whoa. Oh, that was a little CGI. I wonder if the guy that had to burn his cart and gave up is feeling good right now because like at least other people's livelihoods are also getting burnt, you know? So it's like he's not alone anymore. Oh, that guy, fuck, oh my God. The elf's up. Wait, it's got an arrow in its eye. Yeah, it's got an arrow in its eye, man. All right, get him with some democracy. Pump him with freedom. What are you gonna do with a fire breath, though? Oh, just pivot. Okay, we can just fucking. <laughs> okay, finally we have a monster that normal bullets can't do. Whoa. I. I arrow I blind spot elf elf's naked. Uh. I. Is it working? Oh, that's a big boy. Fuck it, yeet it. And he fucking missed. Oh my god, Lolly Mercury's going in. The amount of fan service on Lolly Mercury is kind of insane. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. They actually hit her panties the entire time. That's actually really impressive that, like, they did not flash her panties. A single time. RPG effective against dragons? Yeah, it is. Wait, don't let it run away though. Hold up, hold up. Are we not gonna finish it? All right, missing one arm. The other eye is blind. It's kind of damaged. It's kind of like Monster Hunter. What about the Lolly Mercury though, huh, Itami? Post credit scene. Not yet? No, no. I thought this okay, I thought this was the ending playing for a second. This is Are these casualties from the dragon? It is, right? Jesus. Oh my god, it's that same girl that fucking it was not the same girl. Both her fucking parents done and made fun of her for it. Oh my god. Okay, so they do have places to go to. Sucks for them, man. Everyone is so displaced. Bald! Bald! Alright. The refugees got a place to go, I guess. But already our reputation amongst the people here, it's pretty good, right? We helped them out. Riz up Lolly Mercury. Yeah, we still got them. They're still hanging with us. <laughs> Not sure if they understand the peace sign, but... This girl, honestly, like, 
I know that she's not. Is she? Is she, she is kind of part of the harem, right? She has to be, right? There's, there's, there's a lot of focus on this girl. I like her a lot, you know. <laughs> All right, that's the episode. We killed. We didn't really kill the fire dragon. This episode was pretty much like introducing all the girls. I thought we might do it like one by one slowly because we finally saw the elf last episode after we saved her from the well. But it's like boom, we got Lele. Boom, we get Roy Mercury. I think that it's a. It's not even a contest, right? If you ask people who watch this show who's your favorite girl amongst like you know Lele, the elf, or Roy Mercury, like I guarantee you everyone's gonna like every not. 90-something percent of people are gonna say Lolly Mercury, right? She is fucking goaded. The amount of attention to detail that this character got, bro, the introduction scene, it was sick, dude. The epic soundtrack, the way that she just kills the bandits, dude. The fucking god Lolita suit is a uniform. Pretty funny, but she's an apostle. One of the 12 apostles of the Dark God. It's pretty interesting to see that she's an oracle that other people worship. An oracle is someone that can kind of see the future, right? Or at least like understand a person's destiny. At least that's my interpretation of, you know, the oracle. So it's gonna be interesting to see what cult or what religion she's really from and to see other other apostles too and see how the plot will develop from out. And of course, the, the red dragon. It's probably gonna come back. Maybe this is like, uh, we'll do like round two later on because it did lose an arm and it did lose an eye, but it did run a like fly away. So maybe there'll be some, you know, I don't know if that, there'll be like a round two in the future. And the elf, Lele may not be able to compete with Rory Mercury, but the elf, I think the elf's got it going. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.